What's going on, shooters? Well, we're back one more time, guys. We got us a new rifle, the PSA PA-15. It's a 16-inch barrel, chambered in 5.56 NATO with a 1-7 twist, and it comes with a nitride barrel, 16 inches, guys. Let's get started. It comes with a 13.5-inch M-lock handguard. Uh, it comes with the mil-spec trigger and the mil-spec fr flash hider. Uh, guys, I added the Vistafire uh, side mount sights, front and rear. I got the Strike Force ambidextrous uh, charging handle. I got the uh, Monstrum quick release scope mounts. I got the West Hunter 6x24x50 uh, optic riding up top. And it got the Magpul high rise buttstock I just added. All right, guys, let's get started. Um, this is my frontline go to ammo right here. Uh, zero, I'm a zero at 50 with the 55 grain Hornaday uh, M193 full metal jacket ball and a 68 grain boat tail hollow point match. So I can have a zero with the 55 grain and a heavy for caliber bullet, which is the 68 grain boat tail hollow point match. All right, guys, we are going to eventually get to the AAC ammo that I do have here. We're going to see if this ammo can take out. Uh, the ammo that I'm using right now. So let's get to the range. Let's get some chronograph speed and some accuracy. Let's go. What's going on, shooters? Well, we're back with the PSA PA 15 carbine, the 16 inch nitride bar barrel with the one and seven twist. Guys, let's go to the results right here. Uh, and we got the 50 yard zero, and then we went out to 100 yards with the Hornaday 68 grain boat tail hollow point match. And guys, if you check the velocities, the velocities on that 68 grain boat tail hollow point match are higher than the X Tac, the Ingman and the Fort Scott munitions, which was my um, home defense and my hunting ammo. Um, guys, I suggest you check that out uh, with the Hornady Frontier 68 Green Boatel Hollow Point match. He's a, here are my results at 100 yards with the 68 Green Boatel Hollow Point match. One, two, three, four, five. It's about a three inch group. But guys, I am going to tighten that up. Uh, I shot this, um, the shooting. Uh, right before uh, the hurricane a couple weeks ago, and it was very windy, which was great for ideal conditions, you know, if I was out west or somewhere. And shout out to you guys that's out there on the prairie with all that wind. I'm over here on the east coast, and most of the game is more than no more than 75 to 100 yards out. Um, so, guys, and I do uh, highly recommend this Garmin um, Zero chronograph. I've had no failures. Um, so far, I suggest you run and pick this Garmin Zero up. No errors. And also, guys, here's my 55 grain uh, M193 full metal jacket ball. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And guys, I suggest you pick this up uh, if you check out the velocities. And like I said, this was very windy conditions. And I am headed back out to the range to revisit that, but we're going to get out here and see what this AAC ammo uh, is talking about as far as chronograph speeds and accuracy. All right, guys, until next time, out.